Hi everyone. Today we will be browsing the various tabs in uh, SC24 transaction for a BAP OOP classes. So let us go to transaction code SC24. I have just chosen one of the SAT standard classes as a uh, sample class. Uh, you can do it with your custom class as well. So let's click on display now. So the first tab is properties tab. Now, if you see over here, uh, uh, along with other properties, you have certain uh, um, uh, fields over here, uh, which says that super class uh, uh, and you have this button undo inheritance. So because you have defined the inheritance, uh, this super class uh, field gets activate editable and you can define the super class over here which says that the class CL API bill of material underscore DPC is a subclass of this class, which is mentioned over here. So if I click on this super class, it will take me to the super class uh, um, um, class definition. I'll go back now. And uh, instance generation is abstract. It can be private, protected or public. So most of the times it is uh, public. And if your class, which you have just created over here, which the name is over here, is the final class, which means you don't want any subclasses of this class to be created, then you will click on this button final. So the final checkbox is used for that purpose. The next tab, uh, okay, one more thing is that if you, uh, how in the function modules or in reports you declare types or type pools. So those types or type pools can be added over here and those will be available in your ABAP class, uh, the SE24 class. Now let's go to the next tab, which is the interface tab. So here you can add the interfaces which will be implemented by this class. So because we inherited this class, super class IW, BEP, CL, MGW, push ABS data, uh, there are few interfaces which are mentioned over here in the super class. So let's have a count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these interfaces which are implemented by the super class will be inherited over here. If you see the count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So because we have defined this as a parent class and this parent class has six interfaces, when we go to the interface tab over here, those six uh, interfaces in the parent class will automatically come over here and if you see, they are highlighted with a different color because they are inherited, okay? You, in addition to the inherited interfaces, you can add your own uh, interfaces, which will be specific to this current class, which you are creating. Now here you cannot edit this class because this is a SAP standard class. Now there is a button uh, checkbox over here, filter checkbox, and this is a peculiarity with respect to object-oriented classes in ABAP. Now, if I check this checkbox, I will be able to see only those interfaces which are specific to this particular class, which I'm browsing currently. If I uncheck this filter uh, checkbox, all the other interfaces which have been inherited will also be visible. It doesn't mean that if I check this filter checkbox that, you know, certain interfaces will go away. This is just this filter facility is just provided to ensure that, you know, uh, the user has convenience to see only this class specific interfaces and the same is applicable for attributes and methods as well. So now let's go to the next tab, friends tab. So if you have any friends, uh, classes which have been defined for this particular class which you are dealing with those uh, classes will be available over here uh, i haven't seen much uh, substandard classes where friends classes have